the whole thing about abuse is no one wants to hear it. No one can deal with it. Everyone lives in their own little world and has to be able to do things on their own. You can have encouragement. They have all these coaches today. In all reality, happiness is an inside job. It doesn't matter how many outsiders you have. It really doesn't. To build you up. I had to say that first. It doesn't matter how many coaches you have to build you up. It all depends on the person. And severe abuse. <clears throat> if a person has severe abuse, it's really way too hard to even try to get through. Now, you have two types of individuals. You would have me, who would be an empath, and then you have a person like pretend about narcissists who will never, ever get over, be able to get over the how that was caused to him because he's not real. He lives in his past. He's over 10 years older than me. I'm not sure his age, and I don't want to know his age. I don't want to know anything about him. Because all he ever did was lie and hurt me real, real bad. So. I can't have anything to do with that. I would just pr prefer calling him an it. There's... That it does not exist is a very, very positive way for me to deal with all of his nonsense. All of his total nonsense that I was never harmed. I, you know, that's my continuous fight. If I would continue... To even bother having... Why bother? Um, boring doesn't even cut it. It's... It, it, it kills me. That's... That's... It emotionally is killing me. Is what it, it... Who cares about boring, which is super boring, which is... It's dead. Okay. Wow, there you go. The situation's dead. So boring, no one listens, no one hears it, I, I'm sick of it, but it's killing me emotionally. Emotionally, it's killing me more and making me more mad and making me more outraged and more infuriated. I'm illegally labeled and was told, well, so what? That's not you. And it's not. What made it so bad? One person who says, well, I never harmed you or you were never harmed because... You are illegally labeled. That's why I'm in fury. Just because of the one person saying, well, this is what you're illegally diagnosed. Okay, he doesn't use the word illegal. I do. You're, this is what you're diagnosed. You know, I, I can't deal with that because I, I don't want to be emotionally killing myself anymore. I can't tell that. 
I can't deal with someone saying I was never harmed. I don't want to remember it. You know, it's too sad. That was extremely traumatized. It's real sad. And <clears throat> an insane, toxic abuser will continually keep their victim dead. Will continually make the situation worse. Will make it. Will make it. St your. They make their victim. Put their victim on hold. Make them stagnant. Make them dead. And then. Um, at. P times. Which is really really bad. The abuser makes. Their victim want to die. That's the most extreme because you know the victim has way too much contact with that abuser that's why I can't have any contact with pretend not narcissists cause he's just that awful to me like not even to consider like my dad has... I'm sick of talking about him, so let's just talk about the dead. My husband. <laughs> My husband made me crazy saying that it never, ever happened. And so did my caretakers. But, you know... And that's the whole thing, to have death in your life, which would be a person who thinks that you make up stories. It's like, I never did. Why would I? Why would a, a victim ever make up a tragedy? Because basically no one cares. No one cares. You can care, right? You can't do anything about it. That's that is the kicker. The people who do care. But what can I do? What can they do? Uh, the person as I said in the beginning of the video you can, I could have several I could have ten life coaches. I could have ten Coaches cheering me on, building me up, okay? And it all depends on me to take that positive build up inside me. Now, if I would have any contact with someone like my dead husband, who constantly put me down and constantly said, Oh, you're, it's all in your head. You're crazy. You make up stories. Boom. Where did all the build up of all my ten, um, my beautiful ten coaches go? Oh, you, you can do it. Just do it. Keep on, keep it on. Stay positive. Love yourself. Well, guess what? The victim is unable to love themselves around their insane abuser who will continually attack them constantly and then to the extreme making them want to die that's really bad and then the world views that as the victim's fault no it's entirely their abuser's fault and the abuser just Gets off scot free, just gets off. Where did that word ever come from? Scot free. <laughs> Where do sayings come from? So, <clears throat> abusers always are let off the hook. 
abusers are constantly overlooked. The bully just keeps on bullying. Just is why is that? That they are totally overlooked. Like my god, awful hair. It used to be beautiful, but now it's <laughs> Because I'm old. And I do not have any support at all. Except um, I do have positive counselors. Well, I mean, money. So I can go buy Aussie. A really good conditioner for my hair. At Suave, I have like two big V05 containers. That shit sucks for your hair. This is what it causes my hair to look like. <laughs> it looks like shit. Now if I have Aussie, I leave that in my hair for an hour. Before I take the shower. Oh my, then my hair looks beautiful. Right. Um, whatever, okay. Um, so my main point is have all, you can have all the positive coaches you want. Build me up, build me up, cheering you on. Yay! Go! 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 Go now! Go! 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 Now if you have one toxic, rotten egg abuser in your life, all those Build ups will bring you right down. Take it all away because of their time, because of their insanity, of toxicity, of just uh, their brainwashing lies. I mean, that's like, that is the worst lie that you can. One of the worst lies, I'll say saying, <laughs> one of the worst lies that you can tell a traumatized victim is, oh, it never happened to you. So again, that's why, um, me being illegally labeled, uh, I was told several times, well, so what? That's not you. Who cares? It's not you. I'm, I'm labeled something. Someone was la labeled a cutter, and they never cut. Well, you know, it's in my record, and I can't get rid of it. Okay, what's on my record is much worse than a cutter. Okay, but correct. That's not me. What made it really, really bad was uh, the person that I have to totally forget. The person that I have to totally forget is still alive and sometimes calls me up and has to remind me, well, yes, but you were diagnosed that. Well, yeah, but I have to pray it out of my life. And if it has to be every second of the day, that's a good thing for me to do. Instead of repeating any of the hell that I keep on repeating over and over again, I mean... I don't want to go through any more hell. Earth, um, life's bad enough. Let alone, that's why, um, no one can have a toxic, insane abuser in their life. And, uh, yeah, the last one, it. Yeah. He would have been the death of me. I mean, last time I was in his car, screamed at me to get out. 
and he was calling 911. That's what you call the worst toxic insane abuser that you could have. Someone who calculates deliberately drives you over a mile away from where you were. So not only do you have to go approximately a mile back, but they drive you a distance away. And then they say, get out. I'm calling 911 screaming at you in your face. Whoa. So I just call those people like totally evil. And yeah, for me to ever deal with that, I'm the dumb shit. Okay. I'm the dumb shit. For me ever to talk about it again, I'm the dumb shit. I really am. So yeah, there you go. Can't do anything because I'm poor. But the only reason, again, <laughs> I always repeat myself because I, I had, you know, um, like the worst people in my life. And it's the last time I'm saying his name, pretend I'm not narcissist. The absolute worst monster in my life because he's best friends with my caretakers. He's just, um, he just copied their behaviors. Like, so it's not just me dealing